Hello and welcome here to my Football Manager 24 beta save with Everton and I've seen actually two other YouTubers doing Everton but I thought uh, they have done way more signings and such uh, than I have done so I don't think it's in vain and also I did not manage to make the bar that uh, blue but it's at least to the bluish side instead of red, which I thought would be good. But then, so we just go with the ordinary save or the original save. So we did not even have that much money to begin with. We had like we had, but not a lot. So uh, Ashley Young was signed uh, Barnsley. Who the hell is he? Okay, he's just a goal. Did Danjuma? Every one of these was already signed. Musakin was sold. Vorbi was sold. Yeah. So basically everyone down to here. And I loaned out Drisa Gway uh, since he's very expensive to Chelsea. So hopefully he could he can sign for them. Uh, I know he's not terrible, but he is 33. And on 600,000. So my goal has just been sell everyone that's like have very high wages. Andre Gomez actually did it really good during the preseason. But again, he was one of those that I thought he's old. He's worth or has a lot of... I mean, his, physic, his uh, technicals are not that bad. But he is not going to get that much better. Um... They have a optional fee uh, on 2.5. I don't know if we're going to get them there, but Huddersfield are probably pretty happy to get them in. Uh, Ellie Campbell, we sold a youngster here. I guess he's not terrible, but I think he's never going to um, be good enough of a Premier League players to actually get game time. Dukare, probably one of few players that... We might have just keep, but 6 million PSV can hopefully sign in there. I'm curious, how much do we get next season? Okay, 31 million, that's nice at least. So 2.2 2 million we just did just have there. So we have a pretty small squad and we had uh, three players long-term injury. Coleman was the big one, so I got... Uh, Seki Selic, that is a pretty all round decent right back in here. They have re signed uh, Coleman's contract and lower it, so that's pretty good. I don't think he's terrible, even if he's old. He's been here for so long, so I probably will let him retire. Nathan Patterson is probably going to play most matches. I wanted to get more English players in but everyone was super expensive even the loans but we got in Adim Amari from uh, Leverkusen he has been a regular starter for them and uh, did come from uh, Hoffenheim before there he was not that much regular star actually it was like he's pretty decent he's just 26 as you can see I believe Selic is also 26 so pretty Good youth there. Uh, we will see if we can do anything more here. Can I move some of these? Probably. Or let's see here how much we will get. Okay, we will get. And uh, we are thinking of getting in uh, Oscar Williamson that is uh, playing in Darmstadt that's just gone up. I don't know how good he is, or I guess he's two star, but yeah, I just feel like we need a third choice backup. And then we have uh, Einvar El Ganzi. Uh, I might have just check now when I saw that we have more money here. Uh, if we can sign someone or loan someone in, I just decided no, we don't want to go. So Danjuma is injured still. We have. Luke Harrison uh, away for seven weeks. Uh, Del Ali is five months. I'm probably going to sell him eventually. 
also we managed to so we go for the strongest line up there and uh, also we lowered some of the wages here pick four got reduced weight sadly it's also have a buyout or relegate oh it was a relegation clause i thought it was a buyout clause yes in that sense but no apparently not but if we get relegated they can sign them and then we have of course Dominic Cavalu in who is that I want to keep but we will see um yeah the thing and I would say about Everton is that they have a lot of free stars players and a lot of players that is like good enough but it wouldn't be bad to sell them like Michael Keane is a good choice here he had interest from him but we didn't sell him I'm probably going to go very much British here. We have tried out a uh, 4-4-2 in the preseason, but we mainly have played... Um, where do we end that? This tactic, but I guess we switch again here. Gardner, okay, we're probably going to go with him there. That makes sense. I think this is the strongest lineup. Let's see if we... As you can see, our squad is so small, so we even need the grade of players here on the pitch. And sadly, a lot of players that are really capable to go up. I'm surprised why they loan out this fella. I guess he's not outstanding, but still surprising. 11 million, that's pretty good though. Uh, so the main player that we have is Stan Mills that probably can... Improved that he's a right winger, so not too bad there. And let's see who else have potential. Uh, we have as well Rubin, Dixon, and Dobin. Dobin, probably one of the better ones here. Central defenders, but I don't know. Most of them are a little bit old. Astley is 21, so a little bit too old to even hope for. Uh, Jack Patterson, I guess, is decent, but. As you can see, there are some that might be good, but they are not really there yet. I guess Sheriff might be good. Nearest, but as you can see, still has three stars, so I will... But the issue will also be to sign players that... English players that doesn't cost too much for being English. So we're meeting uh, Nottingham Forest today here. Probably going to go with you as a stopper right way. I was kind of surprised how good this fella was. Pretty really decent. That ought to be the new... It's uh, from Carnsley, surprisingly. So he's come out from nowhere or whatever. Uh, so we're going with Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky. That is a favorite of mine. He is also maybe one to sell. He's actually worth a whole lot of money. He can play as a wide central... Defender, I saw now that is his best position. Lightweight Mikolenko Onana, he was one of few that was actually young. Don't this is the problem though, I feel like we don't have that many strikers that we can play a 4 4 2, and it and <laughs> in the same time, we don't have that many central midfielders that we can play. Uh, and as you can see, also, we don't have that many. I guess we have a little bit more plays they can play on the wing. Ashley Young can play there as well. Pretty light in every single position. So I would like to sign some plays, but three millions. I don't know what we can find for three millions that really boost up our playing squad, so to say. Uh, Onana and Garner as a Cavalero. Oh, he can play there. Okay, perfect. Uh, Calvin Lewis on the wing. I really don't understand that. Do we have no other choice there? Probably not since they came and lost that. Mm, he is still injured. Wise verted winger. On. Or. Yeah, it is better than the inverted winger. So let's change that. I always try to. The players on the best position. Oh, we did the wrong thing there. Uh, don't really like the Cavalu in place there. He's way better as a. Let's actually try him as a wide target man. That seems like an interesting position to be fair. And then bet up top there. I feel like a backline is good enough. And a goalkeeper. Or Virginia is pretty good. And we have a third choice, even if that is like. Who cares? 
I think the next match against is against Manchester United, but we will see. We are already up on 12 minutes, so we will see if we'll do both matches. Also, we will see which time is between. Uh, McNeil! Dwight McNeil. I think we can't do it worse than Everton has done it in real life. I think they've been really unlucky. I don't think Sean Dyche has done it that bad. We might play similar to Sean Dyche, where very, what to call it, very simple, not too many instructions. Try to mix up a play. We could, I feel like this team has potential to play very counter-attacking. Um, Maybe even more now since we don't have the since we I did let go Origi. Okay, he's gone there. Elanga, uh, Nottingham Forest. I feel like they are probably not that bad. I feel like they are probably Luton and some other teams that are worse, but I don't know. Still feel like we're going to probably struggle in the bottom, so don't be surprised about that. Um, yeah, seven days. I think we will just do one match here today, the first match, and then we will be back for Swansea and Luton. Swansea in the Carabao Cup and Luton in the league. Since I feel like these two, is like, if we even get one point, I will be happy from the Manchester United and Arsenal. I feel like Manchester United is definitely a better team on Football Manager always since... I don't know, the, it seems like the managers always, for some reason, in real life, uh, F up with Manchester United, despite having a pretty good team with a lot of, with like almost the highest uh, wages in the team and the most expensive player. Fast pace, I know I have don't know, I might have sped it up too much, that might be why it goes so fast. Uh, we have mixed corners also, I'm going to more corner routines and such as we go. That's lovely by Tarkovsky. Uh, I thought that could be a penalty since I saw a video from Loki Doki where it was like penalties were shown left and right. So I thought maybe that's is a penalty despite not looking as a penalty. Obviously it was issue is though that we have no one really to play there. I guess you could work as a wide feeler. What is your best position here? <laughs> could it hurt? Uh, Onana doesn't be great either. The issue is that we really don't have that many options. So a little bit like, uh, let's just see if we can make any signings that actually make our squad a little bit wider. I know I loaned out like three of our central defenders there. Oh, oh what a, that could have been like the goal of the season so far by Nathan Patterson. A freaking right back there. Um, and all we also want to be really cautious with Kevin Lewis since he seems like a player that always get injured also. I mean, stop Origi. You're not, <laughs> you're not like a world-class player. So just stop with that. I'm going to actually make some instructions on their players there. Nana, corner. McNeil again. I feel like we have been a little bit more threatening, but it's, been, it's still been pretty close. Uh, highlights wise, but we have a little bit better XG there, but mm, whatever. Uh, can Silic? Silic can play on the other wing, but both wingers are actually done really good. I guess Michael Keane for Brightweight. Uh, Godfrey, where do you... I'm a little bit disappointed that we haven't created more than this, to be fair. That's what I will say, though. I feel like... But in the same time, we have Kel with, with the time and... Move in you. This is a little bit of a gamble, but... Can he play here? He can. Okay, let's actually bring the measures with a McNeil up top. Can he play as a, like a line? Was what I was thinking. All around, hold the ball up. 
It's changed a little bit, not played that much direct. I mean, not terrible, not great either. Obviously, the best thing would be to win against these kind of teams. Like Nottingham Forest, I don't feel like Nottingham Forest is probably not going to be a top half team. But also, we are probably not going to be a top half team. I don't really know how to feel about this. It's not awful, but it's not great either. Uh, so definitely mixed emotions, but we playing wise, I don't think we were that bad. I'm going to sympathize with them, even if result is kind of meh. Fair. Oh, we actually got some money for Ding there as well. So yeah, probably we'll be back there in the... We will obviously play more matches in this new game. I will see when I will be back to play matches since I'm or record uh, since I have a lot of full-time job as well so we will see but yeah thank you all for watching and hopefully as well we can strengthen up with this 3.4 million almost but I doubt we can do that much maybe we can find someone that's actually transfer listed I guess we will see uh, but yeah we could check here also what we need you see right backs we have central midfielders left backs we have so it's mainly as central midfielders the Lali is obviously going to be out for half the season so if we could find someone there we have pretty versatile though but a Another defensive midfielder wouldn't go understated. And as you can see, we have no right wingers really. So that would be a priority as well. And the striker. So what is that? That is a striker, a right winger, at least one. And the central midfielder is at least three players. I doubt we can get three players since you will see here as well. Uh, Selic 1.70. 1.70. Seven, three million and Amari, seven hundred and twenty-five thousand. We can actually sign them, and we can sign Celic as well if they would show off to be good. And I mean they're twenty-six, so they're probably in their prime. But they also, I believe, both of them is just three stars, so not that. But oh well, thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again. So bye.